Welcome back everyone. Now that we have a basic understanding of how the structure and pipeline of Halo 3 works, we can begin to start making our own custom content. In today's tutorial, we will be learning the process of importing custom models into Halo 3. For this tutorial series, we will be using Blender to create our assets. Blender is an open source program primarily used for 3D modeling and rendering. You can also use 3ds Max to make content for Halo 3. However, most beginners won't have access to this software so we will be using something more accessible to newcomers. I've provided a link to the latest Blender release in the description. Once you have Blender installed, we need to install a community add-on for Halo Asset Creation. The Halo Asset Blender Development Toolset is a community-made add-on that supports several features to aid our content creation for Halo 3. You can import and export models, level geometry, collision, and animations with this toolkit. To install the add-on, please make sure you first have downloaded the latest release of the toolset. When that is completed, open Blender and navigate to Edit Preferences. In the Add-ons menu, click Install and find the toolset zip file you just downloaded. Click Install Add-on. If successful, you will now see the add-on in your Add-ons menu. Click the checkbox next to it and then select the icon in the bottom left corner. Select Save Preferences. You should now have the ability to import and export Halo Engine file types. The Halo Engine uses proprietary file formats to import and read model data. In this video, we will be working with the JMS file type. Jointed Model Skeleton, or JMS, is the intermediate geometry file format used to import models into Halo's tag formats. The process is simple. We will take our model's data, then export it as a JMS file, and then import the JMS file with a Soyos. If done correctly, we will end up with a render model tag. Finally, we create a model tag that stores this new render model. Before we get started, we need to change our scene properties to match Halo 3. Navigate to the Scene Properties tab and select it. Then, click the Halo Scene Properties dropdown and select the game version to Halo 3. Now let's get started. We're going to make this very simple and export a pre-made model that Blender has. Navigate to the top left corner of our viewport and click Add. In the dropdown, go to Mesh and then select Monkey. Now that we have our model, we need to make sure that we scale it correctly in Engine. To check this, let's add a scale helper into the scene. Navigate to this arrow next to the XYZ viewport helper. You should now see a pop-out menu with sub-menus along the side of it. Select the Halo Tools menu and navigate to the Scale Model Helper. Change the game to Halo 3 and change the model to Master Chief. After clicking Generate Scale Model, you'll see Master Chief. However, he is pretty big compared to our monkey. Let's fix that. Select our monkey mesh and press your S key. Using your mouse, you can now drag to increase the scale of the monkey. Once you are happy with the size, we need to rotate the monkey mesh 90 degrees to match the direction Master Chief is facing. Navigate to the Object Properties tab and find the Z rotation. Type in 90 and the model will now be facing the correct direction. With this completed, we can now delete the Master Chief mesh. Now, in order for a JMS file to import into Halo 3, it needs to have a rig. A rig is a way of controlling a 3D object, kind of like a skeleton. Let's start by selecting Add and then clicking Armature. We now have an empty armature in our scene. We need to then parent our mesh to this armature. First, select the armature and then select the monkey mesh while holding the Shift key. Then go to Object, Parent, and then select Armature Deform with Empty Groups. You should now have the armature as the parent object and the monkey mesh as a child object of the armature. And that's it! Your model is now ready to be exported. Navigate to File, Export, then select Halo Jointed Model Skeleton. Now this is an important step, so please pay attention. We need to create a folder structure that Halo 3's tool program can detect where our JMS file is. Let's go to our data folder in H3EK and make a new folder under that with your name. In that folder, create an Objects folder. Then, create a Levels folder, followed by a Shared folder. Then, create a folder with the title of your custom mesh. Once this folder is created, we need to create two separate folders inside of it. Title one folder, Models, and the other, Render. Finally, open the Render folder. We will save our JMS file here. Make sure to set your game version to Halo 3 MCC and deselect all the mask options except Export Render Geometry. Finally, name your file and click Export JMS. We are halfway there. 
we need to open Osoyos to start the importing process. Once you have it open, make sure your profile is set to Halo 3. Click the Import Model tab, and then search for where your model data folder is. Make sure to not select the Render folder your JMS file is in. The tool will automatically look for a folder titled Render. Once you've selected the Root Model folder, check the Render option. Finally, press Import Model. You'll see a command prompt window open and automatically start compiling your JMS file into a Render Model tag. After a few moments, the console should say it successfully created the tag and you can close the window. So now that we have a successful compile, we need to set up some tags in Gorilla to get our object to spawn in Sapien. After you've found your render model, go to File, New. In the drop-down menu that appears, select Model. This will create a new model tag. In the model tag, you'll see a slot for a render model. Click the three dots icon next to the empty field and find your render model. Now save this tag in the same folder your render model is in. Now that the model tag has been set up, we need to give the model a defined object type. For this tutorial, we will be setting the model as a scenery tag. Scenery are static objects placed within maps that are not a part of the BSP. It won't cast any shadows unless the map has its lighting rebaked, so don't worry if there aren't any shadows rendering on your custom model. Once again, go to File, New, and in the drop-down window, select Scenery. In the new Scenery tag, find the bounding radius and change that to 1. If you don't do this step, your model will not render. Once you've done that, find the model property and assign the new model tag you created to this field. Finally, scroll all the way down to the bottom and change the light mapping policy to dynamic. Save the scenery tag in the same folder. We've now completed all the necessary steps in defining our custom model asset. Now we can spawn it in Sapien to see how it looks. Open Sapien and choose whichever level you'd like to open. When the level is finished loading, go to the hierarchy view window and navigate to Scenario, Objects, Scenery. Click Edit Types, and then click Add. Navigate to your new model scenery tag, and then click Add Tag. The tag should appear in the bottom left window. When it does, click Done, and then go to the Properties Palette window. Inside this window, select the Type drop-down, and find your scenery object. With the model now loaded into the palette, right-click anywhere in the game window to spawn the asset. And there you go! Our monkey is now rendering inside of Halo 3. You'll see a multicolor texture covering the asset, but this is to be expected. In the next tutorial, we will go over how to import textures into Halo 3 and then set up the shaders to go with it. In the meantime, leave a comment below if you have any questions or need help. Don't forget to subscribe for more future tutorials.